Welcome to Go Fish with Dan Kenny. I'm with Patrick Patterson from Wheaton's Lodge. Where are we and what's the plan? We're in Forest City, Maine, and we're gonna go do some fishing today out here on one of the numerous lakes that we can enjoy right from the lodge. That's it, enjoy the show. I got a good feeling about, as soon as I saw that bird and all those boulders, that's a good sign. Yes. But I'm sure this lake has so many places that look fantastic, right? This lake has got, if you look over here to the right, if, if the wind wasn't blowing, uh, we would definitely hit those rocks oh, right there. Oh yeah, with those boulders. You know? But we're definitely running into some uh, rougher weather, but it's been blowing all week, you know, 10 to 20 miles an hour. With this wind blow, blowing in here like this, Patrick, and the and the, I mean this is this is spinnerbait weather right here for smallies. Sometimes they're four inches offshore, just you know what I mean, sitting there. And every now and then you get them that'll that'll like see this rock right here. Yep. So sometimes you get them sitting on the other side of those rocks like that. There's a follower. Did you see that little guy following it? That was bait. That was I know. That was a baby. Yes, sir. Got Sorry, one. Man. Fish on. Yep. Oh, uh, he oh, uh, he spit it. Easy release. Did you see that quick <laughs> release? <laughs> okay. Got one on. Look at that one. There you go, boy. Nice one. This one's better. Yes, sir. Let me right back here. I'll catch him for you. Look Woo. at that. That one's <laughs> better. All right. There's a nice smallie right there. Good size, huh, Patrick? Very good. Nice little belly on it. First thing this morning, throwing that white spinnerbait, and these are the conditions for it. The wind today is really limited to where we can get to and uh, how we're going to fish it. I'm looking for a specific bottom, and this really isn't the bottom I'm watching for. But it is a, kind of out of the wind. It gives you a chance to cast, going up against the shoreline. There should be something right in there, but. Yeah. These are Canadian bass over here. <laughs> Canadian side, eh? Got fish on. Fish on. Woo! This is the best. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh, look at that one. There you go. Not the greatest thing. Uh. Not the greatest. But hey, Patrick, we'll take it, right? It's better not catching any at all. Now, now you were saying this is a Canadian bass, yeah. right? <laughs> it is. Flying the Canadian colors on this side. We still love them though, right? Absolutely. They're, they're our good neighbor to the north. You're watching Go Fish Stand and we'll be right back after this break. Thanks to the increasingly volatile price of fossil fuels like natural gas, fuel oil, and propane, homeowners around the country are switching to a water furnace geothermal heat pump. Water furnace units use the free renewable energy in your backyard to save up to 70% on heating, cooling, and hot water. And right now, save even more with a 30% renewable energy tax credit. To see how much you'd save by switching to geothermal, visit waterfurnace.com switch to try our free savings calculator right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is brisk conditions to be fishing smallmouth bass brisk. <laughs> in a that's, canoe. That's a good word for it. But hey, this is New England, man. We love it. How can you not love fishing? As long as lightning bolts aren't coming down, I'm good. Look at that. Not the biggest smallie, right, Pat? But no. hey, we'll take it. 
Good deal. Put her back home. There you go, old boy. What do you think? That was good. You gonna give it another go? It's up to you. We need to work our way up around the corner. That's it. You're the boss. Got one right there. Fish there on. you go. Ooh, a little guy. Well, Patrick, that tells us that the smallies are in fact in here with the rocks. Quick release. Was that a rock? No, that was me. Look at this guy. Patrick, what do you think? What do you think about the size of this fish? Wow, that's just bait. <laughs> Tell the viewers what we're going through so far this morning. Well, let's see. We're, we're fighting against about uh, 15 to 20 mile an hour winds, which is uh, blowing us in not such great conditions. Um, but we're doing the best we can, doing what we're doing. You're actually catching a few fish. Yeah. I'd like to put you on a few bigger fish. That's true. And it hasn't been easy. And, and we haven't wrecked the boat. So Mr. Goodney hasn't fell out of the water yet, in the water yet. So it's, it's all working good. Patrick is wondering when I'm going in for a drink. Well, I think you're trying. Although he is impressed so far with my sea legs. I am very much so. You haven't gotten wet yet. See, I mentioned lunch. And all there he is. Fish. fish on. There. I told you, just had to get you up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Is that a pencil? Oh, that is a oh, pencil. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. You want one of these? I got my, this. My favorite. My favorite, right here. Are you ready for lunch? You hungry? We're you gonna do a it. traditional shore lunch. Uh, we're one of the only camps to still do that. No buffets here. The real deal. Hey Dan, what sounds good to you today? Fried or boiled potatoes? Well, you're the boss, man. Whatever you choose. Well, it's up to you. I'm just cooking for you. All right, um, I'll go with fried then. Fried it is. We'll get us some uh, guide coffee going. You ever had any guide coffee? I'm all about it. Really? Well, Patrick and I are gonna have a shoreside lunch and we'll be back after this break. This is my office. It's hot, it's loud, and you don't even want to know what I spend on gas. So when I get home, I want it to be comfortable without spending a fortune on fuel. That's why I chose a Water Furnace Geothermal Heat Pump. Water Furnace units use the free renewable energy stored in your backyard to save up to 70% on heating, cooling, and hot water. It's like taking two cars off the road. Two cars have suddenly vanished, handing Gordon the win here at Talad. What do you mean I can't pick which two? We do hope to get a salmon this afternoon. We haven't yet. It's been 20, 30 mile an hour winds. Fishing's been rough, but this is the highlight. You know, I'm giving Patrick a four inch Dexter Velo trout knife. And uh, nice. you're gonna be able to use that for your lunches, you know, well, thereafter on potatoes, onions, salmon, steak, steak. trout. <laughs> salmon. 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 Whatever you, you want. the salmon that are jumping in the river right behind That's us? That's it. How come you haven't got one on your fishing pole yet? I'm gonna go fish right now. Well, because I think we need one if we're gonna cook one in front yeah, of this fire. Take that. And this will be fish. perfect to cut it out. That's it. I'm getting one. I'm All gonna right. go get a salmon. I'll tell you what, Dan, this knife is incredible. Dexter knife, four inch trout knife. Perfect. Look at how fast it cuts everything up here. Yeah, I mean we call it the trout knife. It's obviously multi-purpose, you know, four inch, four inch fillet, but I knew that it'd be the perfect carry knife for you in your sack. Oh, thank you very much. This is going to be incredible. Now we're going to make our coffee. We got the water boiling all good. The potatoes are frying up really nice. So we're going to take this right here, this egg and this coffee, and we're just going to crutch it up. 
And we're going to stir it around until we get the nice brownie consistency here. And you can see you got the eggshells and the yolk and everything else going right on there. Get all the corners, make sure we get all the coffee. Take my stick. Now this is a unique way of cooking guide coffee. Have you ever had coffee like this, Dan? No. Okay, now we'll finish cooking it. And uh, we'll let you get back to fishing for salmon. Uh, Dan, that doesn't look like a salmon. No. Um, you know, Patrick sent me off to get a salmon because we uh, haven't caught one yet to eat with the steak. But um, this is what I brought back. It's not good enough. Oh, no, they're, they're very good, but you know, they, to cut them out and make sure that the Y-bones don't get in there. And they're a very good, sweet, flaky fish, but they're, uh, we'll just put him back today and let him get a little bigger. Yeah, I'm, I'm on board with never eating pickerel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Okay, cheers. All right, Patrick, here's to your special secret recipe that's no longer secret, <laughs> guide coffee. <laughs> guide coffee. Patrick does it right, right there cooked over the fire, steak, potatoes, onions, apple pie for dessert, My brownies, and main guide coffee. That's the stuff right there. If you don't like coffee, you'll love this. I'm Pat Patterson with Wheaton's Lodge. We're getting ready to head back out on the water after a fantastic lunch. Uh, we're going to see if we can actually put some fish on Dan's hook and uh, see how the afternoon goes. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Life I love is making music with my friends. Get on the road again. I can't wait to catch the Canadian salmon again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan, I think I'm going to try to join in the fun here and see yeah, if I can't join you here and catching one or two. Well, we just had a spectacular shoreside lunch. Well, thank, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Phenomenal. I didn't, I didn't burn the potatoes or the steak, so we did all right. Sure did. The awesome thing about this spot is USA, Maine, our friends to the north, Canada. And just for uh, future reference, uh, the anchor is on the American side of the river. Right. Of course. Fish on. Fish this on. This is a better one. Oh, yeah. Oh, they fight so good. Don't they fight so good? Here we go. This is, a, this is an upgrade, Patrick. That is an upgrade. This Look is an at upgrade. that. Yep. Easy. That's an upgrade after lunch. After lunch upgrade right there. <laughs> we just had to give the fish a break so they could change out for the afternoon, evidently. That's it. That's it. I'm going to give them a little bit of line here. Well, that's right a little there. bit of an upgrade right there. Oh, you got one too? All right. We doubled up, and there's a nice smallie. Oh, I think. Uh, in the current. Look at that couple. Good job. Mine's bigger than Patrick's, <laughs> as you can clearly see. Yeah, then your alarm clock rang. Come on, show that, show that to the viewers. Come on, Patrick. Yeah. Let's go. You were picking on me for getting the small guys. Look at this, folks. <laughs> A little bit bigger than Patrick's. Well, Wheaton's Lodge has been in business for 62 years, Dan, and we yeah. pride ourselves on the fact that we're still doing things the way the original founder did, Woody Wheaton. Uh, in fact, he was part of uh, developing these Grand Lake canoes. Yeah, you just saw a fish jump two or three yeah, feet I did. over. Um, this is probably one of the best bass fishing lakes in the United States, and I don't say that just because we're here, um, and our lodge is located less than two miles away. Uh, but simply because it is truly some of the best bass fishing around. Um, you know, if you're coming up and you like to bring the family and just come out and enjoy the place and go do some fishing, this is definitely the place to come do it. I could take a nap or I could just say, oh, fish on. There we go. I'd rather you say fish nice on. Nice job. Oh, he followed it too, Ooh. all the way. Oh, this is a good one. Definitely an upgrade. This is a good smallie right here. Come back. Yep. There. That's what I'm to... talking about right there. Can I do this without without like going through 
my thumb. No. Hey Patrick, so you've been up here in Maine guiding forever. How many times have you had a treble hook through your thumb? <laughs> um, just a couple of times, thankfully, and it was nice. Yeah, it's, it's not a good feeling, so. No. Very, very nice smallie though. Hey, they're small, they're fun, they're aggressive, and we're having a good time. We're having a great time. That's it. Let's get this girl back and get another one. I got the Okuma Citrix rod here. Oh. And oh. I'm going a little, I mean, it's really shallow in here. There's a lot of rocks. We got a few small smallies. So I'm going to try throwing a jerk bait for a couple minutes. That's what we do, Patrick. That's we change it we up, do. right? Change it. Well, yeah, if it ain't working, you got to go to something else. Change it up. Friggin' wind's just yanking us all over the this place. This one's going, look at him on this look side. Look at that. Here it goes. Here it comes. Up in the air. Whoa! Look at that. That's a good smallie. That, that right there is not bad. Not bad at all. No. We'll take it. Now the fishing has certainly been a lot better this afternoon than it has been this morning. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Ah, good job, doctor. Here we go. Nice smallie right there. Patrick Patterson from Wings Lodge. Go fish Dan. Catching some smallies, and we'll be right back. Unfortunately, we got blown off the lake today, folks, but I'll be back at it again tomorrow because I'm not leaving Wheaton's Lodge or this lake without some more smallies. This canoe was a 21-foot Grand Laker. It was made specifically for uh, East Grand, West Grand, uh, Spednik, and, and they're built to handle heavy water, which uh, East Grand and Spednik can be known for just a heartbeat. Right. Um, and they're built basically to, to straddle three waves to a time. Uh, they're secure, they're steady, uh, they get a good high gunnel, um, and you get a low center of gravity uh, when you're not six foot three standing up in the bow. That's it. <laughs> for the record, six four. Six four. Oh, but, hey, not bad for just looking. But no, for these guessing. boats, what, well, I mean, just a, it's a piece of art. It really well, is. It's made by uh, Lance Wheaton. And these, uh, again, these are all done out of cedar and ash, ash gunnels. Uh, they're built for big boys like myself and a four stroke on the back. Um, and they're built to traverse these waters in the traditional style. These, these canoes have been on these lakes uh, for better than 60 years. They started out with double enders. Nice. You get Holy, one? Yeah, he's, he's there. He's uh, fighting me pretty good, actually. Nice, nice smallie, Patrick. Good job. Well, you put on that little spinner. Yeah, it's that white one that's been there. Yep. There's a nice one. Yep. That's bang. And sometimes that's why you change up. I just put on this little curly tail shot truce with a little jig head and second cast. Nice. Right there. That's a good looking smallie. Quality, healthy, good fight. That's a northern Maine smallie from Wheaton Lodge. That's it. That's what we're talking about. Another little fatty. <laughs> How many times can we say, yeah, the fishing are small, but brutal conditions. I mean, it's it's hard for uh, Mr. Goodney over there. He's in his in his trailer boat and all over the place. So we're catching the fish, and then he's gonna kind of like 
catch up. Torpedo towards <laughs> us, but it's not easy, folks. But that's a nice smallie. That is. I know what you're talking about, small. That's not bad. No, he's a chunk. It's a good fight. He's a good fighter. So, swim another day. Oh, there you go, right there. Another quality smallie. That's it. He's uh, he hit that hard, Dan. You you saw him jump up over there by the trees <laughs> line. <laughs> I did. And uh, I was lucky enough to be able to put it right within his sight, and he decided he wanted it. Yeah, he was well. He was a feeder because he definitely splashed out of the water. I look saw his tail end come is. up. Yeah. You talked about color, and you look at how green it, that is, and how beautiful his eyes are. Oh yeah. Nice fish. That's nice. a good one. Oh yeah. Don't lose your hook this time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even tell me that, Patrick. I just bellied him. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> You're just gonna dive in. That's a nice small. That's one. it. Yep. There we go. Hey, they're all nice. They're all a lot of fun, right? And thanks to your zip tie, you know what it is, folks. It's the um, it's the PMS 300 green color zip tie. <laughs> that's, a, that's a come on. I can hear that drag. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You got the net, buddy? This is the netter. Oh. oh, we're tangled up in your fish and stuff. I got to hold on. Can you can you reach your pole? Nope. Nope. Oh man. Now there's a smallie right there. Patrick, what do you think, eh? I think that's a good damn fish right there. On the Canadian side. <laughs> yep, right there is a nice one. You're good. Fish the on. Fish was the fish least on. problem. Nice one, too. There we go. Yeah, this is a good fish. See, as we speak, on, you know, out here, Wheaton's Lodge. Look at that, he's coming out of the water here. Oh, he got off. As we speak, he just got off. Yeah, as we speak, I almost got pegged in the face with a wound. Did you see that? <laughs> wow so so you were saying <laughs> yeah, sorry I was saying I'm going right back to where you just were oh my goodness that was a nice fish too and he did spit he spit it right at you so I don't know why you got him so upset bat but <laughs> that was a that was a good chunk that was a good two and a half pounder so I mean, fishing is fishing, and listen, you, you know, you always got to take the high road. Absolutely. And Ooh. when you catch 50 to 20 small fish, and then you lose three good ones. Yeah, right in a row, too, almost, it seems like. Yeah, it's, ooh, doubled up, doubled up. Nice. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Doubled up right there. Look at that. There. How good is that? Fantastic. Mine's bigger than his. <laughs> yeah, yes it is. Yes it is, but that's okay. That's a nice little fish. We doubled up right there. Nice. First time we've doubled up. We're one of those lodges that, uh, you know, if you're looking for wilderness experience, if you want to be out here in the lakes, not get run over by a bunch of jet skis and right. water skiers and, and, and inner tubers and all of that. Um, you, you might see a couple other fishermen, most likely guides, and then you'll see the guys that are just out here that have fun and fish. And uh, but you know we're we're a wilderness camp. If you want the wilderness experience, we're your camp. It's kind of a funny thing that has happened to us, Patrick. Is the the spinners like stopped working? Like a light switch went off. It then, did too, didn't it? Yeah, and then we had to go to plastics, and I did get a couple of small ones on the tube. And then we threw on these Yum Dingers wacky rig. I wonder how heavily this cove is fished. I don't know. You want to try it? No, I mean like I liked I liked where we got into those fish back there, and then you look down and it looks phenomenal. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh 
yeah, baby. Here we go. Now we don't need the net for that one, though, do we? No. <laughs> but a nice fish off the curly tail jig head. Oh, you are running that curly tail again, aren't you? Yes, I am. I threw it back on. Sure did. Well, while you weren't looking, Patrick, I... Uh, yeah, see, I see, I know. I pulled the fast one while you weren't looking there. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> All righty. I switched oh, up the bait. Oh, I took my oim. And it's time to go get another one. It's time to go get another one. Now, this Lance Wheaton canoe, you're number 91. He's built 93 in his life. He's got 93. He's got the last one on the mold right now. And that's it. He's retiring. He says he's done. What a beauty. So you, you absolutely, I mean, you've got a, a part of main history right here that custom made. And what, how long has he been making them, by the way? How many years? Uh, I would say better than, well, better than 20 years. Yeah. He might do one a year. He might do one every couple of years. He just, he's modified the mold over the years. Uh, this is the latest modification here. They're a little wider across the gunnel or across the, the beam. Um, 21 feet long. The seats moved ahead because the handles are a little longer now on the uh, four strokes. Right. Um, some of the guides are getting a little heavier than the days. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. Oh. Nice fish. He, man, I'm buttoning him in a second, and uh, he wanted to see the bottom. Like, for some reason, he was looking at it from both sides of his head, too. <laughs> he, he, kept, uh, he, he kept, like, like he was he was on this side. Then he went to that side for that view. Then he went back to that side for well, that view. Well, he wanted to make sure he got the full, full view. <laughs> Looked at your lunchbox. Oh, yeah, probably now it smells like fish. Yeah, sorry about that, but he... Uh, That's all right. He slimed a good two-foot section. You caught a fish, and you caught it right up alongside of that rock, too. That's it, yep. Clear water. The wind's knocked down, finally. Oh, my goodness. Fish on. Nice fish. Uh, I'll close the show out. Nice fish. Here we go. Here we, here we, here we go. Smallmouth mania. <laughs> having a lot of fun. He's taking a little drag. Not bad. Oh, no, it isn't bad at all. Nope. Loop-de-loop. -loop. <laughs> He's on a carnival ride. Yes, he is. Yeah, three tickets. Look he at this guy. He's tall. That's a nice little fish. Hey, pound, uh, pound and a half. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to say so. <laughs> <laughs> Th thanks, for, uh, thanks for stroking my ego, but... <laughs> Maybe a half a pound. All right. No, come on. That's at least a pounder. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah. But I've certainly enjoyed a great time with you. Hey, we do have to get back for dinner, though. I know the missus said, don't be late for dinner. No, no, not after last night. No. Nope. So. Not after yesterday. Unfortunately, we got to wrap it up. You know, we had the great shoreline lunch and. I could go till dark, but I understand when Sandy says be back for dinner, Patrick. I, I heard her say that this morning over coffee. That's I, right. I think we should be back for dinner. I think she's got something planned special. Good. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed today's show. Until next time, God bless and go fish. Folks, I'm being shown right now how to actually do camera by Dan Kent because <laughs> earlier today I showed him how to fish, so it was only fair, even though none of that will actually make the show. But uh, yeah, I did slay uh, quite a few small bout bass up here. Always a great time. Wheaton Lodge, if you get a chance, come on up here. It, whether you're filming or have to follow a guy around with a camera, it's a good time.